Hey, hey, hey. And we're back, Theme Co. fam. Um, to complete our Pokemon journey for now, at least. So, what we'd like to do here is we're going to play around with more of this data. Just put, this is sort of the putting it all together part of the video. We're going to use some conditions to do some stuff. And then finally, we're going to display just a singular Pokemon page and we're going to show it how to do it here or a separate page itself. So let's start by just cleaning it up a little bit. I wouldn't mind if this was centered for one and so let's bump up the text as well. So there we go. And so this is within our singular Pokemon grab from earlier. So remember we have all this data for the singular one and I've decided we're going to loop through the types first in Pokemon. Um, we're going to see mainly just grass and poison because we're looking at Bulbasaur, but maybe I'll switch up the offset just so we can check it out or um, s set the consumer limit. We'll, s we'll see. So let's do the types first. So I'm going to arrange these um, horizontally. So let's do that with flex box here is fine. And let's add text to say that this is the types right here. And so we're given an array of objects in the return. So, and that's just called types. So we're in this div, we're going to call this the types looper. And we're going to use dynamic content. Um, I'm going to do field, and it's called, s no, we're doing types right now. We might do stats later. So right there, looping through, and so this is an array of objects. So we're going to use dot syntax. Um, if you want to picture where we are, we're in the f this first one. You can see slot type name and all that. So in here. We'll call this just the label. And then this is what our actual consumer is going to be. So right right off the bat, this should do what we want to see. And I'm just going to use this to get the typing down. Mo most of the time, it's quicker. So the type, if we look up here, the type's actually in a type object so this would be type and then if we want to do name it would be name and then as we see there we've got it um, let's clean it up a little just add a little bit of margin cool and I think this would look pretty good with um, making it look like more like a badge as they call it. So let's go to background color. Set this as like a gray. Um, lighter, lighter gray. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. A little bit of border radius and A little bit of padding, a little bit more padding, I should say. And cool. So it looks good to me. And you kind of get the picture. Um, but just to demonstrate what we're doing again, we're looping through all the Pokemon, then looping a singular Pokemon. And from there, we, we've grabbed all the data, and we're even doing a loop after that where we loop through the types. 
and hopefully this gets you some ideas in your own work um, from here let's press save and let's start to create just a singular Pokemon page so let's imagine for a second we've got this list you click on Venusaur it takes you to the Venusaur page or how I'm just gonna do it here is gonna use a condition to keep this all on one page at least one page as far as cornerstone is concerned and you know we get a lot of questions about conditions so this could always be good to go over so let's the call this the Pokemon list right now and what are we gonna use here div yeah okay and so what we're more or less going to do is recreate this grab here so it does just okay it does just pass in the full URL because if you remember they send us the full URL of the next one to get so we're gonna be doing this something similar to this using the external API global so let's do that and just to make sure we're all okay we're just gonna hand put in Bulbasaur cool yeah so we're gonna loop there um, I'm gonna add a row yeah split in half that's the look I'm going for um, so we've we're looping once through the whole thing so we already have a lot of this data already and so great thing about using looper field data as um, your dynamic content is that because and this example is di different too because you had to actually grab the Pokemon data before you could display a lot of this so all, all of the attributes we're using inside the singular Pokemon are gonna work inside this so let's start with just pasting the image and so we're it's just hand doing um, Bulbasaur right now right but um, we're gonna eventually use a URL parameter so let's just set this up first to maybe give you a better idea and I think I decided I want the image on the other side um, I'm gonna put the types on this side and going to add the title as well which I don't think we'll actually be able to use this because it's this is looper content we grabbed okay it did but so it's the same it's keyed at the same name but if you remember from earlier the first grab only gives you the name and the URL so I think we just got lucky there and yeah I mean we could display more but let's get into actually how we would link to this first so each I'm gonna call so each row each of these Pokemon's is, is in its own column and you may or may not already know this but you can actually change a column to be uh, an a tag anchor link as they call it and so we're going to do use that to link to um, a, this this page actually but with the URL parameter so if you can you might not be able to see that but in the bottom right it's linking to this page we're already on which is what we're trying to do so we're gonna search use the p Pokemon as the uh, URL parameter and we'll go over how to get that in a second um, we're just gonna copy this into here 
and you can see now it says question mark Pokemon equals you know all of them so now if we did if we look viewed this on the front end nothing's really going to happen because we're not using this right so if I click that it's the same page right but now we can utilize this so let's do that and so first off so we're hard coding Bulbasaur in here we're actually going to set that as a fallback so let's copy that let's do field no no, no. we're looking for we're, so we're searching a URL parameter right so that would be URL or it's URL query string parameter is what it's called so that fallback is still going to be Bulbasaur and we're searching the Pokemon as our get value right so just like that you know it's Bulbasaur because it's there is no URL parameter in this and to use this too we're going also going to use this as the condition to even show this section at all so right off the bat it's going to be hidden but that's fine we're actually going to take away the fallback here it's not easy to read I know but so we're still looking at the Pokemon we're just search that search that is not blank so immediately it went away and we're gonna let's set that up for both now you can actually see it with element conditions or ignored so you'll actually notice you can see the API tester shows you that too because it's using conditions um, more of just a want, want you to know sort of thing um, let's now do the opposite condition so we're checking there if it's not or sorry string so we're checking that it is in this case and since in this iframe it's not there that's exactly what happens so let's just see if this works for one and then we're going to clean it up a little more so we do that we get Ivysaur and do that with all different Pokemon in fact let's do a final cleanup of this page because this is example is pretty good right now let's so we're only looping three right now we're still gonna keep the multitudes of three so and boom you can see even more and as we load this page yeah click through charmeleon see that a little blank but a good base for us um hope you found this guide of putting it all together useful for you family and we're going there's there's still more we could be going through with this you know we could be searching but we're going to save some of this for another installment um look forward to what you're building we're definitely going to take a look at um, user interaction. Like we could have a search form in here. Could we're sort of touching on it with the linking, but just you know, bring us to a more app-like state. Um, I'm sure some of the smarter ones and you can already figure out a lot of this, but we want to see everyone do it. So much love. Have a great day, fam.